Well, hello there. Welcome back to another session of The Outer Worlds. Thank you for joining me. And please hit that like button. It sends out a lot of positive energy in the universe, especially to me. I hope you enjoy. If you want to see other videos, hit uh, the subscribe button. All right, let's get into it. All right, boys and girls, we got finally have enough money to pay for that landing key from Gladys. So let's hit it. All right, who went on this journey with me this time? Felix, all right. Hail, Captain. Your return time is within 14% of the expected value. 14% of what value? Groundbreaker! We've arrived at the Groundbreaker. Yep, I'm gonna keep this. Knock you out bar, a CCN seventy six milk chocolate bar with caramel and cream frosting. It's time to take my All right, Gladys, I'll buy the Stiller Bay Nav key now. Fantastic. Do be careful with it, dear, as these keys tend to be a tad hard to acquire. You should have a chat with Lilia Hagen in the sublight offices. She's a dear. You'll love her. Now, was there anything else? I'm good. Wait, actually, let me see what you I've got. I've got a lovely sale. little throw pillow. Just something I toss together. Like to keep my hands busy. No armor. What is that? Hey, boss. If you need a tour guide, I've seen all 12 episodes of Terror on Monarch. Kind of an expert. I'm gonna be able Whatever you say, boss. I'll see you back there. All right. All right, we'll speak with this Lilia. Lilia. Before we head off. Uh -huh. See you in 
be force worse. It's not the worst, and then force worse. Oh, neat! They got stuff in here I ain't seen in ages. What's going on with you lately? Up, buddy. Welcome to Sublight Salvage and Shipping, a legitimate business for legitimate consumers. You the one flying the unreliable? That's right. Name's Captain Hawthorne. Sure you are. Miss Lily has been expecting you. I'll unlock the door. So, you're a Sublight employee. Sure am. A few years back they got me started on simple acquisitions. You know those latches they put on cargo bays ain't worth a damn? These days, I stick to HQ and look after Miss Lilia. I should go. So you're the new captain in town. I was hoping you'd make your way to my office. Saves me the work of hunting you down. Lilia Hagen, CEO and Executive Director of Aggressive Operations. I'm guessing you already know about Sublight, otherwise you wouldn't have come. <laughs> Name's Liquid, <laughs> Captain of the Unreliable. Charmed. It's nice to see the Unreliable again. Useful ship. Hawthorne was my contractor. I'd recognize that leaky boat of his anywhere. <laughs> Don't let Ada hear you, calling her ship names. Is Ada still at the helm? I don't know how many times I told Hawthorne to restore that smartass to factory settings. I have a salvage job for someone light on corporate ties with a reliable set of wings, but there's a catch. Just like in the serials. If you have a nav key to Stellar Bay, the job's yours. Interested? I can get into Stellar Bay. Tell me about the job. One of my guys in Stellar Bay has a lead on some high-grade salvage, but he went dark before he could spill the goods. We arranged a drop at the Saltuna Warehouse's loading dock. Find whatever he left there and take it to Fallbrook. My gal Catherine will be expecting you. What's Sublight doing in Fallbrook? A few of my contractors run flights in there and out again, working around with a board embargo. We keep the community lubricated with a steady supply of booze and unconventional erotica. Byzantium kids with more money than sense can thank Sublight for their good time. Why do you need me if you already have people on the ground? Catherine is tied up with other matters, and I don't want her bothered. I told her I'd be sending my best fixer. Try and play the part. All right, I'll take the job. Now, get going. Catherine will brief you on the details when you check in with her at Fallbrook. One last thing. When you're on the job, keep a pair of eyes in the back of your head. Understood? What am I looking for? Don't go looking for anything, except salvage. Just watch out. You'll do fine. Probably nothing to worry about. Probably. I ain't worried if you aren't, Captain. Uh, honest. Oh my god. We're not gonna have to hurt nobody. We might. gonna get in trouble today not that I want to just seems to happen around you is all what do you think about the new guy Felix he seems like a nice boy to me I'm glad you gave him a shot I thought he didn't like strangers generally yeah but I got a good feeling about him is all I mean sure he's a bit rough around the edges I bet he just needs somebody to show him a better path I was mostly thinking he'd be higher muscle I'm sure he could hit stuff for us just fine but I was thinking on what we could do for him. Yeah, I need some new threads. Let's see what you got for sale. All right, now that I got these new threads. Oh, 
They kind of look respectable. Let's do this thing. CNP pancake mix now requires no mixing. Rizzo's mock apple cider. A hard cider for a hard cider. All right, this is cool. I got, got some new threads. Got a new job, sort of. And I'm gonna go help my my boys that are uh, still in cryo sleep. Whoops. Please, would you kindly inform the crew that long chats with Ada are not required every time the captain leaves the ship? Jeez. Welcome back, Captain. Now that you have acquired a nav key to Stellar Bay, would you like me to contact Dr. Wells? Yeah, put him on screen. Well done. You'll love Monarch. Exotic climate, violent native species, fascinating culture, really. You'll need to speak with Hiram Blythe. He's known as the information broker, and for good reason. If anyone knows where I can find those chemicals, it's Hiram. I need those chemicals to revive the Hope's colonists. They can help us fight back against the board. They can help us set things right. If we don't put a stop to the board, they're going to drive this colony toward a complete societal collapse. You'll see what I mean when you arrive on Monarch. You sound like you've been to Monarch. <laughs> no, never. Monarch is a hotbed of political activity. I can't imagine why Hiram set up shop there. Cuisine, perhaps? Where should I start? You'll want to hire the services of a skilled guide. I recommend a hunter by the name of Nioka. Frequents the drinking establishments of Stellar Bay. Very hard to miss. Once you have everything you need, make your way to Hiram Blythe's compound. All right, I'm off. Best of luck. Everyone on the Hope is counting on you. Dialogue and leadership is next. We're now in orbit of a stellar bay, Captain. Welcome to Monarch, ladies and gentlemen. You think the people in Stellar Bay ever get used to this smell? What do you think? That Chief Junlei sure seems well, huh? Talk later.
this guy? Hey, hold on there. I gotta sign you in. Don't think I've seen you around. That means you must be new to Stellar Bay. You are new here, right? You seem surprised. You must have seen those UDL gunships on your way in. There's only three of them these days. Still, they tend to scare folk off. What are they doing out here? You may not have heard, you being new, but Stellar Bay hardly ever gets off-road traffic. Us being cut off by the board and all. Which means I never get to do this part, but I've been practicing, so here goes. On behalf of Monarch Stellar Industries, welcome to Stellar Bay, home of the freshest Sal Tuna and Halcyon. Please state your name for the records. I prefer to travel discreetly, if you know what I mean. Ah, don't be like that. I never get to do this part. Please. Don't make me tell you twice. Hey, easy. I won't stop you. Mr. Sandra will be mighty pleased to meet you. If you see him over at headquarters, maybe you could tell him I did a bang-up job of welcoming you? Oh, and if you're headed that way, maybe you could do me a favor? That depends what it is. I got this Rizzo's Rangers Tosswell poster coming in on the next sublight shipment, signed by the Black Hole himself. Only I haven't heard anything in a while. You think you could check with Celia to see if it's come in? Sure, I can ask about your poster. Thanks a bunch. Celia works for Mr. Sanjar in the MSI building next to the bar. She's always there, so you can't miss her. Dude, check this guy's... What up? And the little bastard's slippery, right? On account of its blood. So it's, it's sliding. All over the place. Trying to crawl away. Getting so I can't tell the... Tell the blood from the mud. But I gotta get in there. Get right in that baby rap's stomach and dig it out. If so much as a drop of stomach acid got on that medallion, I... Shit, I don't know what I'd do. Might be I'd hunt every damn wrapped out there. Right. What are you staring? Wait. You ain't from around here. Who are you? Look good. Pleased to meet you. Ooh, charmer. Don't get a lot of that around here. Folks mostly grump at me about how I should join the MSI payroll. Nice change of pace. Buy me a drink, will you? I'm told you can get me to an information broker. Well... Well, well, well. Let's get down to brass nuts then, shall we? Brass... Wait, that ain't it. Brass rats? Let's... Let's talk business. I'm headed back out there after I sober up. You want a guide sooner than that? You'll have to get me something to clear my head. Sure, what do you need? Outstanding! Our dispensary here maintains a stock of, uh, well, I don't rightly know what they are. Steroid or caffeine somethings? Pills. They're very good. I'm cut off for the month, on account of needing one just about every damn day. But I'm sure you've got your wily ways. Fetch me one and we'll be all set. If I can't get a steroid or caffeine or something or other? That's quitter talk. You want me shooting straight? Get me my meds. I'll be right back.
Alright, before we get her her pills, let's go ahead and take care of this one thing. Velma seem out of sorts too. She's always cranky. No, I mean more than usual. Wouldn't know. I made it a point to stay out of her way. I'll tell you the truth, out of all these places, I like Stella Bay a lot. That was weird, but okay. Still something around here. <laughs> plant. Oh, that's not good. Probably gonna take us back to the ship. No, it's gonna take us somewhere else. Never mind. All right, let's go find this dude's uh, thingy. Nothing wrong with greasing the wheels of the bureaucracy. It'll get people to leave you alone. Could I get another advance, Mr. Nandi? Just make sure it's properly logged. I'll note it next to the others, sir. Greetings. 
and welcome to Monarch Stellar Industries, producers and purveyors of the finest salt tuna and halcyon. What can I do for you today? Grim asked me to check with you about his tossball poster. You know, sending you is the first bright idea I've seen from that man, because I told him to stop bothering me about it a week ago. I still don't know anything about it, but if you want to help him, Velma's the one to ask. She's in the warehouse. But I'll warn you, Grim wore her patience thin a long time ago. All right, thanks. Ugh, God. I think I should have been a bounty hunter. This fetch quest stuff sucks. All right, Vilma. Oh. Hang on, sorry. <laughs> Look, you can tell Catherine the new shipment will be ready when it's ready, all right? She's welcome to come up here and pack boxes herself if she's in such a hurry. Whoa, jinkies there, Velma. What are you even talking about? Sorry, seems I got my cables crossed. Thought you were another shakedown tough from Fallbrook. Hope you can forgive my temper. This job has been running me ragged lately. First, my autoloader foreman stages a walkout and now my chief pescatological health manager is missing. Uh, I'm sorry about all that. Uh, I'm here to ask about Grimm's poster. This again? I swear, this is the last time I contract for any special requests. You can tell Grimm his poster came in. You can also tell him I got a better offer for it. So now it's going to Nell. That about cover it? You still have the poster, right? It's staying locked up in my office until Nell shows with her money. You're just giving Grimm's poster away? Didn't he pay for it? No. I paid Sublight for it. So, it's mine. And when Nell pays me for it, it'll be hers. Grim may have asked for the poster, but it's not his until I take his money. Alright, let's talk about something different. Fine by me. I'll talk to you later. Why am I even tripping about this poster? Yeah, I'm good. He didn't pay for it yet, so... Sorry. Space crime continuum. All right, let's get this money from Sublight. Wrap mask and painted eyes, right here. Sir, please, I need your help. I can pay. Ooh, music to my ears. Oh, thank you for stopping. Everyone acts like nothing's wrong. Like my little boy isn't at risk of being eaten by some vile creature. Please, you have to help me get my little Tucker back. He ran away and is going to get himself killed. Oh, I, I just know a Raptodon is melting him with acid as we speak! Your child is missing? Where did you last see him? Oh, I just knew you were a good person. Agnes, I said, this is the man to save your little Tucky. And I was right. He ran out into the wilderness a few days ago. I warned him about the Raptodons, Mantisaurs and Marauders, the toxic sulfur pools and poisonous plants. But he didn't listen! 
Oh, law, oh, Captain. A youngster won't last long in a place like this. Please, can't we help? Please, won't you go and find my boy? Why did Tucker run away? He's been pining for an adventure. Says he's tired of living cooped up behind the walls. But he doesn't understand how dangerous it is out there. I warned him. A raptodon would snap him up first chance it got. I just know one's ripped his arm off and is gnawing on his sweet little fingers. He should have listened to his mama. I promised I'd keep him safe here with me. Uh, I'll help you find your son. Thank you. Oh, I know he'll be safe now that someone's able to fetch him home. You look for him in Amber Heights, you hear? It's down the road southwest of town. I'm sure he made it that far. I just know it. And if you find any of them iconoclast indoctrinating my boy, you punch them in the mouths. Tell them what I think of them luring little boys away from their mamas. It's immoral. I always wanted to visit Stellar Bay. Taking the sights, the sounds, the... Wait, what's that smell? I think it's sulfur. Ever goes away? Give me the whip and see how it's It's probably sulfur. It smells probably like rotten eggs out there. Alright. Let's try this one more time. Let's it's probably where the kids kids at. Shh. All right, Kaylee, hit it. Bring it, buddy. Hey, you guys all right? Oh, it looks like Fallbrook's over there. Get him. Alright, 
right, cool. Let's take his bits and everything else he got. this Let's go around. Heights, huh? Hello, Rose. Well, hello, and welcome to the home of the iconoclasts. I'm Rose. Please take a pamphlet. In it, you'll find everything you need to know about Graham, his philosophist truths, and the iconoclast way. He wrote it himself, you know. Oh, oh no, I'm so sorry, I keep forgetting, we're out of pamphlets. Gosh, blast it. Uh, okay, so this is definitely a cult. I don't want a pamphlet anyway. Just tell me who you are. On the other hand, I absolutely want a pamphlet. Oh, I'm so glad to hear that. With friends like him, I think you'll fit in just fine. We're the only free people in Halcyon, you know? No corporations, no shackles, no problems. No problems? What about Rapto Raptodons or Marauders? Oh, those are just hurdles. We deal with them as they come. You're welcome to stay with us, so long as you can earn your keep. Got it. Hey, before I go, I'm looking for Tucker. Have you seen him? The new boy. Yes, he's quite clever. He took to our teachings very quickly. Last I saw him, he was headed into one of the buildings up the hill. Hey, 
looks like a nice little town. Except for all the dead critters. This place wasn't half so pretty in the cereals. Tucker isn't a grown man. Looks like I'm not the only new face around here. What do I call you, stranger? I'm Captain Lickett. Welcome to Amber Heights, Captain. Call me Tucker. You here to join the Iconoclasts? Help us free this world? Tucker, you're Angie's little boy from Stellar Bay? I am not a little boy. Haven't been one for decades, no matter what my mama wishes. I take it she's still looking for me? I'd hope she'd accept my decision. She made it seem like you were in danger. Asked me to rescue you. According to her, stepping foot outside of the house in broad daylight is too dangerous. My entire life she crammed a fear of danger down my throat. Don't go play with friends. Mantasaurs will tear your arms off. Don't leave the city. Raptodons will spit acid on your face. Marauders can violate you. You'd fall in a sulfur pool. I stuck around way too long, yeah, ruled like by her. her fears. I'm 42 years old, but she still sees me as a little boy in need of her protection. I won't stand for it, I tell you. So what do you want to do about it? She'll keep sending people to look for you. Stars, I don't know. My mama's a stubborn woman. She won't quit until I'm dead. That can be arranged. Felix Millstone, don't you dare. You know, that might just work. You go back and tell her you found my body beside the road, all mangled and tore up. If she believes me dead, she won't look for me no more. You want me to fake your own death to avoid talking to your mother? I know it sounds extreme. But I can't go back. I just can't. This is the only way I can think of to be free. You're okay with her thinking you've died. Don't you think that'll hurt her? I hate to think of her grieving, but it'll be good for her to move on. In the long run, you know? You know, if we do this, I need some proof that it was your body I found. Oh, right. Uh, I guess you could take my daddy's ring. I've worn it ever since he died. Mama would recognize it right away. You take this back to Stellar Bay. Tell my mama I died and you found that on my body. I know it'll be hard on her, but it's the only way. Infamous Amber Heights. Everybody here looks wore out. Is it just me? You want to talk there, Edgewater? I should have took the vicar with me. There's a 
Fell Brooks down this way. You ever want to hide a body? You could dump it in that sulfur pool. I don't got much use for sulfur in my own work. This road needs some like guardrails or something. Headshot. Hey, boss, watch this. Why are you guys not using weapons? I never knew him. I was a stowaway. That's what they call orphans who grow up in the back base. Oh, gosh. I'm sorry. I must have been lonesome. Come on, Parvati. Who you talking to? We gotta make for the bar. Play a couple rounds, crack a couple heads. You know, socialize. Stella Bay? Boss lady told me to take the night off. No, I'm beat. Just got back from delivering to that house. Uh-huh. You blind, fella? Or can you not see I'm busy? 
Why is it every sissy pig fucker who strolls into my town expects me to smile and shout awful friendly? Welcome to Fallbrook. Only nugget of paradise in this entire law-forsaken land. Like a void damn advert. I could listen to her talk for hours. Truthfully spoken, I do aim to properly represent my aforementioned nugget of paradise. Yeah, you're real friendly. I do so try. Might try more for you. Cause I like interesting folks. So what are you in the market for, stranger? I got vice, virtue, and everything in between. Well, I'm half listening. Actually, I'm the fixer for your sublight problem. Good of you to finally haul your ass over here. I wired for backup weeks ago. Got something that's going to require special extraction from Cascadia. How special? And what sort of something? Special as in unlawful, delicate, and deadly. As to the something, no, it ain't a person. Not this time. One of my runners uncovered a cache of Alta Vitae gas, left in a lab when the board abandoned Cascadia. To extract the gas, you'll need to siphon it from the lab in Cascadia into one of your ship's fuel tanks. Totally safe. What the heck is Alta Vita gas? Do I look like one of them egghead science types? All I know is that labs use it to create plants and livestock out of local species. But it's a controlled commodity, available only to the board. So it is of high value on the dark market. I can get it done. I do like your gumption, but let's not be hasty. To get to the gas, you'll need to navigate through the town, which is overrun by marauders. The lab itself has become an infested nest, crawling with mantis. You gotta fight through or figure out some other way to exterminate them. Maybe the ventilation system? I'll find a way. Or the man mantisaurs. Clever! That's why Lilia's paying you, I take it. Now, after you clear the manti nest and reach the storage room, all that's left is to get the gas flowing into the fuel system. The task will require someone with technical skills. Or you could force it through with a plasma overload. Don't recommend that option, though, unless you want to get dead. Better do this safe. I only got one ship. And I'd rather not wait another several weeks for Lilia to send your replacement. Once you've got our goods, take them to the Groundbreaker. Lilia's fencers ought to handle the rest of it. I've marked the coordinates for you to the lab in Cascadia. Use the passcode Antediluvian on the terminal to get in. But before you make your run, I could use a heavy helping hand regarding a local issue. For a fine fee, of course. This fee better be really fine. That might be... Good. This particular matter of opportunity has been eating at me for a while now. There's a Borst factory on up the way, run by a man who calls himself the King. Clive Lundberg, insufferable prick. That aside, it's a business ripe for the plucking. I want it. Clear as that. Yeah, not interested. Well then, you just let me know when you're done wasting my time. I'm not trying to murder people. If she wants to take over a business, she can take that shit over Catherine herself. Catherine Malin could sour milk just by glaring at it. You know how their smoke world? Crusty outside, but warm and squishy inside. I'm pretty sure she's crust all the way through. <laughs> Alright. land in Cascadia. Okay, this is how we're going to do this thing. We're going to do it later. Yeah, 
we're gonna we're gonna stir up some shit. First, we're gonna do the main mission. Found my baby boy. Where is he? Where's my little Tucker? I'm sorry, but Tucker's dead. No, that can't be true. Not my little boy, not my baby. Wait, are you sure it wasn't someone else? Maybe my little boy's all right. How could you know it was him? I found this ring on Tucker's body. That's Tucker's ring. His daddy gave it to him, and he never took it off since. How did you... No, no, it can't be. He's not dead. Not my child. Not my sweet Tucker. I promise I always look out for him. Take the money. Just please leave me to grieve. 